increase is your capital gain. It's called an unrealized capital gain because it's still in the market. It still has the potential to go up even more or down even more. It's unrealized. You're still trading it. It's still in the market. Now, your unrealized gain becomes a realized gain when you sell your stock. Let's talk about capital gains first. Whenever you buy a stock, it has the potential to go up or down in value. So let's say you bought the Twitter stock. So Twitter is trading at almost $40. And let's say you bought 10 shares in Twitter. So you paid 400 bucks to get those 10 shares and your investment in Twitter is worth 400 bucks. A couple of days go by and the Twitter stock did really well it went up in value by $5. So you bought it for $40 and right now it's worth $45. Your investment, because you have 10 shares, went from 400 bucks to 450. Now, the $50 increase is your capital gain. It's called an unrealized capital gain because it's still in the market. It still has the potential to go up even more or down even more. It's unrealized. You're still trading it. It's still in the market. Now, your unrealized gain becomes a realized gain when you sell your stock. So, for example, if you happen to sell those 10 shares for 450, your unrealized gain of $50 just became a realized gain because it's something tangible. Unrealized is untangible. You can't hold it. You can't do anything with it. A realized gain is something that's tangible. You made that $50. It gets deposited in your account. 